Hi guys, uh, Mama Nick here. How's everybody doing out there? Hope everybody's well on their end. Once again, Happy New Year. Uh, so, basically guys, I was hit by Comic Uno, my friend Cat with a left hook that caught me off guard. Didn't catch it, but it's cool. <laughs> um, it's been years since I've been tagged and uh, she tagged me. Uh, and 10 questions, which she tagged me with, and two other guys. And um, I'm here to answer those questions, and I will probably tag three other people, and vice versa. Once again, it's been years since I did been tagged, but let's get right into this. And uh, I'm just going to answer these questions the best I can, depending on whether you want them now, current, or anytime. But... I'll do some current and maybe do some uh, from the past or so. And to, you'll you'll get my drift. All right, so here's all the questions. I actually copied them so I wouldn't forget them. Uh, the first question is, uh, favorite ongoing book with one main hero? Um, I know some people probably would think it would be this, but actually it's Daredevil. Um, yes. Uh, Daredevil has just been fantastic. Uh, once again, like I said, Mark Magic Wade, the dude, he knows what he's doing with Daredevil, and he's doing such a fantastic job with it. And um, I have other favorite books, solo books that focus on main heroes, but if I was right off the top of my head, bam, Daredevil came right to my head. So there you go. Uh, favorite team book? Uh Bam! Right off the top of my head. Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, favorite hero. Now, that's where it gets tough because my favorite all-time hero is Spider-Man. But Spider-Man is not the Spider-Man that I like. So, that's Ock. And I ain't, I'm not repping that. Uh, but if I was to pick a favorite hero now... Uh... Bam! Right, right to my head. Uh, I would have to go with one of my favorite uh, uh, pulp heroes, and that would probably be the the Shadow or the Spider. Uh, so yeah, once again, like I said, now uh, there's others, but I'm off the top of my head, right off the cuff. Uh, favorite villain, once again, tough question because overall, I have my favorite villains and. My favorite all-time villain of all time is Victor Von Doom, number one villain. Uh, but right now, we haven't seen a lot of Doom lately. Uh, and I don't read Fantastic Four, which which Fraction is writing. So I am can't really say. Um, oh, maybe Thanos. Thanos still is that uber bad guy to me. So there you go. <laughs> uh, number five. Marvel or DC, you don't know how many times for the past 20 plus years of comics I've been reading in terms of the big two. That is always the question that I get. Chris, Marvel, DC, Chris, Marvel. And I always say I'm Omni. I like them all. I don't I don't stick with one company. But if you're talking about now. uh, I still. It, it really wouldn't even be any of them, really. It'd be probably independent, believe it or not. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, I can't get Favorite event of this year? Uh, once again, see the, the questions, but I'm, I'm kind of going with what Kat was doing. Uh, if I was to go this year, I would say I enjoyed it. Infinity was a pretty decent, decent uh, event. It had... A main villain, which I'm looking for, which I'm always looking for in an event. Who's the main villain and the heroes that are going up against that? We got that. Now, I know some people are, uh, have a hard time reading Hickman's writing. That's cool. I got no problem with that. But, yes, there you go. I'm, I mean, Forever Evil is still going, and I'm, it's there but for me, but it's just like, you know I'm, if it's true that they're going to kill off Dick Grayson, I'm going to be pissed 
because you know you you killed off one. Why are you gonna don't kill off Dick? I mean, really, don't kill him off. All right, least favorite. Okay, least favorite book. Uh, least favorite. Actually, right now, I come. I would have to say a World's Finest. Um, there's a couple more, but yeah, World. That's I'm off the cuff, guys. Right up, bam. What's coming to my head? And World's Finest has been dropping a lot. Um, from what I was reading. It, it really, and you know, I'm a huge Power Girl and Huntress fan, but like, like my bro Blue Goblin's been saying, like, they need somebody else on that. Paul Levix, I know you, you, you write that, I know that you, you coke, you help create Huntress and all that, but get a new writer on that, DC. You definitely need a new writer, because it seems to be like, eh, uh, but I would also have to say... Um, I would have to say pretty much almost, I would have to say both X-Force books. They're not living up to what I thought they were, actually. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing them rebooted again, uh, you know, with, where, you know, Marrow comes back, because I saw a little bit of the artwork. The artwork looks good. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing where that goes, but I am looking forward to this whole big collide with both X-Force teams coming, you know, I'm looking forward to that, but, you know, those are kind of dropping for me, I'm, I'm, I'm just how they are, uh, number eight, uh, what book do you read that most people hate, Red Lanterns, I hear, no, uh, yes, Red Lanterns has got to be one of those books that people dog, but, I, and I only see a smidgen of people on the, in the comic book review uh, community that actually reviews that book and like it. Um, I hear a lot of people dog that. I like that book, but there's only a few other people that I know that read that book, but other people hate it for some strange reason. I don't know. Uh, least favorite event, Age of Ultron, definitely. Um, that, was con that was a major letdown for me. Yeah, it was. It, it it was a major letdown. Malcolm's over here laughing at me, but no, it it was. Um, Age of Ultron was a very letdown. Um, especially because of the fact this is Ultron we're talking about, one of the Avengers' major enemies, and it it was hard for me to understand. Okay, where does this take place? So that's why it's, we kind of consider: is it an alternate world or or not? And that's just how it is. Uh, favorite comic jail. Um, you see, I hear people say Arkham Asylum. Yeah, but you got to remember one thing. That's an asylum, meaning that's for the criminally insane, not just a, a, a prison where you send villains. So for me, I would have to say the RAF or the Cube or p p things like that, the vault, you know, those, those prisons are cool, Black Gate, uh, Black, yeah, Black Gate, Black, you know, those kind of prisons are cool, I like Arkham Asylum, but that's more criminally insane to me, but, uh, wow, I did that in eight minutes, that's good, uh, but, yeah, there you have it, guys, uh, was tagged with eight, ten questions, I got it done in the least amount of time, I didn't monologue too much, that's fine. So now I am, you know all the know the routine. You're supposed to you're supposed to tag the next three people. So here are the people that I am tagging. So for all those who follow me, these are who I'm tagging. Okay. First off, uh my bro, Blue Goblin. Yes. That's number one. Number two, Fast Ever Comics, Mark, tag and Mark. And number three, uh, I'll go with Jay. There you go. How about that? There you are. See, three people, three other members of Dark Avenger Inc. Plus. Yeah, there you go. We're practically the only, the only four, actually. Yeah, the only four members. 
So it's kind of funny. But yeah, I'm tagging three other people in the Dark Avenger Inc. family. And so I'm tagging Gabby, Jay, and Mark. And if Chloe wants to get involved, that's great. But those are the three. And uh, once again, you heard the questions, guys. Uh, for all those who are listening, you all can answer it. But those are the three that I'm tagged, that I tagged. They have to answer. And uh, other than that, you guys take care. Thanks, Cat, for the questions. Um, I'm going to catch you off guard, too, one day. <laughs> no, 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 I'll just mess with you. No, but uh, this was fun. Uh, my first tag video in years for the start of 2014. Pretty good. So, uh, the Omni King is out. And uh, I am... I'll see you guys around. Take care.